day of our learning, our learning activity here in Zagreb for the i 4 CSR Erasmus Plus project. The topic of the day is eco-labels. So eco-labels are all sorts of signs, designs and symbols that are uh, attached to products to um, signal the compliance to some environmental and, uh, and social standards. Uh, what we did today was discussing the, and presenting the situation at the European level and also the partners that focused on the situation and standards and best practice uh, at, the, uh, uh, at the level of uh, each uh, country. Um, particularly, uh, uh, we started with a, a deep uh, session regarding uh, loom research on uh, eco-labels. The big question that raises there is, are those eco-labels eco -labels providing more information or mm, are a source of confusion for the customers? And uh, our research showed uh, that they are, they are actually providing more information. So uh, the trends that we see in Europe and uh, in the different countries are uh, follow similar patterns. So we have uh, overall an increase in the use uh, of eco labels and also the presence of more stricter um, of stricter um, requirements. Uh, what is particularly important there is that eco labels are also a way to protect um, the uh, traditions of the countries. This is telling us uh, the story of how uh, the CSR is developing in the consumer market. Uh, when we started analyzing the eco the first eco labels date back to the 70s and had uh, some uh, had less requirements. Now, th th these requirements are raising. So today is the third day of this uh, Zagreb learning activity. We are discussing employment of people with disabilities, comparing different practices of different European countries. Um, and also putting this topic also into a broader, broader frame of CSR and um, diversity and why is it important for companies, for organizations to really uh, grasp this term and um, work accordingly to set up uh, policies of anti-discrimination, inclusion and so on. The fourth uh, topic of the first uh, learning activity was uh, the uh, legislation regarding the food donations in uh, Croatia and the uh, EU. Uh, so, according to the statistics uh, of the United Nations, EU throws away approximately 89 uh, million tons of food per year. Uh, so, on the uh, EU level, uh, the legislative that tackles this problem uh, is of course uh, the tax legislation, uh, the waste framework uh, directive, uh, general food law and the food hygiene package. On the fifth day of this uh, learning activity we were talking about uh, the stimulating the processing of used material. Uh, also we were talking about uh, reusing, uh, recycling and circular economy. Uh, EU action plan uh, which uh, regards to the uh, this circular economy of uh, reusing and recycling uh, all uh, used materials. Uh, they, uh, as they put in this action plan, uh, that the, they uh, want uh, to reach the target of 65% uh, of recycling uh, items in 2030. And uh, when we talk about municipal waste, and when we talk uh, uh, packaging waste, uh, we want to reach 75% uh, to be recycled.